Hello, welcome to Lunchtime with Liz. This is the card that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Okay, love those flowers. Spring is on its way. Put that aside. All right, the ink colors that I'll be using today, very simple, soft succulent, and the stays on jet black ink. That's it. Those two colors of ink. I will be using the die set scalloped contours dies and this is in the annual catalog I will be using stamp sets happy and heartfelt for the words but you could use any words that you have this is a great one this is in this in the mini catalog at the moment but like I said I'll be using from here but you could use any words that you have I will be using painted poppies this is in the annual catalog also. What I'm going to be using is this flower right here. So if you don't have the painted poppy set, you could use another stamp set that you have, as long as that's an outline of a flower, not a solid flower. Okay? So I'm going to put that aside. Let's see what else will I be using. I'll be using these classic matte dies. Dots, sorry, these classic matte dots. They're little self-adhesive dots. And... Let's see, one more thing. And then I'll be using the New Horizons Designer Series paper, and this is in the mini catalog. Okay, so let's get started. My card base will be soft succulent, eight and a half by 11 sheet of cardstock, cut in half, folded in half. That'll be my base. This piece here. I cut that from this scalloped contours dies. When you open it up, this has tons of rectangles in here. There's also some flowers that match another stamp set. But look at all these rectangles, all different sizes. And what I used is I used the very middle. There's one, two, three, four, five different rectangles. And I'm using, I used the middle one and ran that through my cut and emboss machine and got this. Just letting you know that the mini cut and emboss machine right now is 20% off. 20% off, it's normally $60 and it is $48 for the month of March for the mini cut and emboss machine. I do have the regular size one, but I will say that most of the dies, if you go through the catalogs, it'll have a little circle um, next to it. It'll say mini if it fits in the mini. And most of the dies do fit in the mini machine. So if you'd like a cut and emboss machine, don't have one yet, don't want to put out a ton of money for it, you can get the mini right now for 48 bucks, which is a good deal. In addition, there are other bundles that are 20% off right now too. So you can go to stampinontherock.com and you can check those out. All right, let me continue on with that. So I used this die, ran it through my cut and emboss machine to get this piece here. All right. And that's it for my pieces. Now, I use this New Horizons. I'm going to pull this out. This is amazing paper. One side has a scene, like a scenery, like water, sky kind of a thing. Um, like that. There's all horizons, various horizons. The back, there's like a mountain scene here. But then on the backs, well, that one has a scenery too. Let's see. That one's scenery. Many of them on the back have this kind of a look to it and like this here okay so what I did with that is I took one of those pieces like this and I'm just going to use my stays on and just stamp that and you grab a bunch of different colors and you can do a bunch of different ones. And then I'm gonna fussy cut, but it really didn't take a long time. I've said this once before, the trick with fussy cutting is don't ever close your scissors all the way because then it looks really choppy. So if you just keep your scissors open all the way around, don't let them get to the very tip. Then you have a nice rounded, nice cutting. It's a little wet. It dries pretty quickly, but it's a little wet at the moment, so I'm trying not to smudge here. 
So yes, I am fussy cutting, but honestly, look how quickly it's going. And you just put on your favorite movie, favorite show, sit down and chat with someone, and you can cut this while you're doing that. Okay? So there we go. That's how quickly that was done. All right? So to save time, well, what I did is to try and make a bunch of them, I just stamped like this. I took a sheet of it and just stamp, 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 stamp a whole bunch of them at once. To save a little time for now, I already pre-cut a whole bunch of them here. Okay. So I'm going to take this scallop piece here. And I'm opening up the uh, soft succulent. And I'm stamping, thank you. Right up there on the top. Close that up. Um, did I lose my adhesive? Uh-oh, where'd my adhesive go? Oh, there it is. It was hiding under my dimensionals. We're all good. All right. So I made the comment the other day on my Facebook page and said, um, some days I amaze myself and some days I look for my scissors as they're in my hand. So that's kind of what just happened with my adhesive. It was sitting right on the table when I couldn't find it. So, all right. <laughs> I know I'm not alone there. So I'm just gonna grab some of my pieces and I'm going to do a few of them flat, right down, and just kind of randomly place them. And you wanna fill in, don't be skimpy with them, cut a whole bunch of them. Let's see, let's do maybe a blue one in here. We'll put that up here. And then you don't want them all just looking flat because then it kind of like looks a little funky. So you want to add a little bit more to it. So what we're going to do then is grab some dimensions. So I, these are all flat. And then I'm going to take a couple of them and add some dimensionals to the back. So they pop up. And let's see, what else can we put in? Let's do, let's do another pink one here. And we'll put this here. Anyone who places an order at the moment, this is what I'm using as my thank you notes for customers. So if you'd like to have one that I made for you, and there you go. And if you wanna add a little bit more in, let's see, we can always add in something else here. If you want it to be a little fuller, we can put that here like that. And then of course we wanna add a little bit to it. We're gonna add a little bit of bling. So we got these classic matte dots. Um, there's gray, there's cream, there's white. I'm gonna grab the black ones. We'll put one up here. Let's see, they have different sizes on here. I'll just randomly place those. What I'm doing with this, just so you know, some of these are popped up. We put dimensionals on the back. I don't put the dots on those because that's already raised up a little bit. So that's raised and they're, they're squishy if you press on them. So if you put the dots on the flat part, then it kind of comes out to the same height. So I wouldn't add the dots on any piece that you have up on dimensionals. Okay. Get this out of here. And there you go. That's the end card. Check this out. So there's that one like that. And then I did this one horizontally. And put my flowers all around. This one I added white matte dots. Okay. Here's another one I did that's horizontal, but just has flowers on one side. And I did the white, the white matte dots just up there in the right corner. Okay, or you could keep it super simple. And you could just have it like this. Okay, so hopefully you enjoyed that and um, that gets you ready for spring. Have fun with those flowers, but what a great way to use this this um, New Horizons paper, right? It looks like you stamped all those, but the ink is already there for you. So give it a try. Have fun. Talk with you later. Bye-bye.